Hey everyone, I'm Erin here at Readwise. Today I'm super excited to introduce you to a new, long-awaited feature we've been working on called Themed Reviews. So if you're already a fan of our daily review feature, you know that Readwise can intelligently resurface your previous highlights. And while we have some existing options to fine-tune the kind of volume of your daily review, as well as what kinds of documents show up and at what frequency, we wanted to give you guys even more flexibility when it came to curating your highlights. So this is precisely why we decided to launch a new feature within Readwise called Themed Reviews. You can see a couple of the ones that I've already created in my own account. And as the name implies, a themed review is very similar to a daily review, but it's generated from a custom subset of your overall highlight collection. You can access the feature by going to the bottom of your dashboard and clicking on themed reviews right here. So here you can see some of the themed reviews I've already been playing around with in my own workflow. And what's really cool about themed reviews is that you can base them off of any number or collection of sources. So I can come in here and I can say include things from a certain tag. I can include things from a specific article. I can include things from various books. And I can even include individual tweets and notes that I may have taken in our, what we call our freeform input tool, which I'll show you in more detail later in this video. The other cool thing about themed reviews is that you can customize the exact frequency with which they show up. So there may be some themed reviews that you only want to engage with on a weekly basis. So in my case, I may set this to arrive only on Saturday and Sunday, and I'll set it to come at 10 a.m. when I know I'm most likely to be able to engage with it. So the most obvious application for themed reviews would be to create stacks of topically relevant highlights, such as cryptocurrency or spirituality or copywriting, right? But the possibilities for themed reviews go far beyond that. You can build a themed review to think through hard problems in your work. You can build a themed review to learn a new skill, whether it be theoretical or more practical. You can use themed reviews to even spark new connections between things you read and fuel a writing practice. So in this video, I'm going to show you three kinds of themed reviews that will help you unlock new kinds of focus, creativity, and productivity all within Readwise. All right, so let's talk about some of the most basic ways to get up and running with themed reviews. Single book themes are one of the most straightforward applications for themed reviews, and I find these particularly helpful when I'm trying to level up a skill or wrap my head around a theoretical concept that normally I need to read about a couple times in order to really grasp it. For example, I've created a whole themed review on the Four Noble Truths, which I've been using to integrate certain principles of Buddhism into my own thinking. One step up from a single book-based themed review is a topical themed review. Since I'm the community manager for Readwise, I'm really curious about new ways to support and connect with our community. So I've created a themed review called Community Building, which pulls from topically related highlights from different books, articles, and tweets that I found really useful to my job. So we just talked about subject-based themed reviews. Now let's talk about how themed reviews can support your creative output. Sometimes something I read will trigger an idea for a tweet or is relevant to a project I'm working on with the team. I'm not quite ready to act on these bits of information, but I don't want these thoughts to get lost in my memory either. This is an instance where an inbox themed review can be really useful. There's two ways items make it into my inbox. The first way is to simply tag any passage inbox, and I can do this either during my daily review or as I'm reading something on my Kindle or an Instapaper. Or if it's an original fleeting thought, I'll go into Readwise's freeform input tool and I'll write myself a little note. 
I'll then set my inbox themed review to pull from both of these sources and I'll schedule that themed review to arrive every morning, at which point I look through my recent thoughts and I'll transfer any actionable ideas over to my daily to-do list. I found that this workflow really helps me focus better. One, because I have a place to hold all of these random chaotic thoughts and I don't have to worry about forgetting them. And two, because I now have an external trigger to remind me of them again. So far we've talked about how you can use themed reviews to build knowledge around a certain topic and prevent important ideas from slipping through your mind. Last up in this video, I wanna show you guys how themed reviews can support a nearly effortless writing workflow. When preparing for the launch of themed reviews, we actually started an article-oriented themed review titled Themed Reviews. And we used this themed review to begin gradually collecting talking points that we knew we'd want to incorporate into our launch blog post for the feature. To do this, we created a freeform book within Readwise and titled it Themed Reviews. And then whenever a new idea or insight popped up, and again, this happened gradually over several months, we would come in here and add it to this freeform book. We'd then review these notes weekly and progressively refine our ideas so they became clearer and clearer over time. When it came time to actually write the article, we were able to simply come into Google Docs, order all of these collected paragraphs into a coherent sequence, add in a few connecting sentences, and literally within 45 minutes, we had a near perfect 1500 word draft. So these are just a couple examples of the really flexible potential of our new themed reviews feature. And I hope that some of the examples I just shared end up being useful in your own workflow. As always, I would love to see what kind of themed reviews you end up creating for yourself. So if you ever feel like it, you can always tweet us a screenshot to readwise.io on Twitter, and we look forward to sharing it with our own community. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this new feature.